Boring plain pistols and rifles certainly work in a pinch, but if you want pizzazz, you need to look past the sporting goods section at your local Walmart. There is a veritable bevy of weird, bizarre, and downright goofy guns out there. Let's take a look at the top 10 weirdest guns you have ever seen. Number 10. The Hate Fist Gun Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards wasn't the most accurate history movie, nor a very good one for learning to spell. But Tarantino did get two things absolutely right. 1. Hitler deserved to die. 2. That glove gun they used was very much a real thing. Called the Hate Fist Gun or the Sedgley OSS Glove Gun, it was exactly what the name implies, a small 38 pistol attached to a glove that you could fire without having to worry about holding anything. It wasn't invented for kicks, but for surviving World War II. In 1943, U.S. naval excavators would often get ambushed by Japanese soldiers as they worked to clear out jungle space for their airfields and bases. Since these workers couldn't exactly work while holding a big gun, the Navy developed a tiny gun attached to a glove. That way, if Japanese forces invaded, the workers would just ball up their fist and open fire like when little kids pretend to be Mega Man, only lethal. Number 9. The Elgin Cutlass Pistol Fans of Final Fantasy VIII remember Squall's Gunblade, a giant sword that also functions as a giant gun. Amazingly, real life beat the video game to the punch by about 160 years, and the real version was actually something humans could hold without shattering their wrists. As described by the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History, the Elgin Cutlass Pistol was a 54 caliber pistol sporting a bushy beard made out of a Bowie knife. At the time, it was perhaps the best way to ensure both the long-range and short-range advantage in battle, since you could now stab and shoot someone. It was actually designed by George Elgin, the guy who patented the Bowie knife in 1837. Gun manufacturer C.B. Allen worked with Elgin to produce the Elgin Pistol, and the Navy soon realized they could do something with these knife pistols. When the military wants your invention, you know you've made something good. Number 8. The Apache Revolver Having a knife and gun in one is pretty awesome, but the Apache Revolver, or knuckle duster gun, takes things just one step further. Not only do you have a knife and gun, but now you have brass knuckles. Basically, unless your opponent wields a flamethrower, this gizmo will help you be ready for any kind of fight. The Apache was made in Belgium in the early 1900s, and everything about it is an exercise in weaponized zaniness. The gun has no barrel, sending the bullet through a hole in its upper frame. The bayonet isn't as large as the Bowie knife's blade, making it easier to conceal pre-attack. And the brass knuckles are, well, the handle of a gun shaped like brass knuckles. Oh, and it was all retractable, like a Swiss Army knife. Number 7. The Punt Gun Think of the silliest, most comical-looking gun you can. No matter what you came up with, there's no way it was as funny as the punt gun, which was just like a regular gun, only never-ending. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, hunters who needed to kill many birds at once used the punt gun, the barrel of which usually measured anywhere from 11 to 13 feet. And as you can see, it wasn't a light, thin gun either. This thing was a heavy-duty monster, typically weighing 250 pounds or more. According to Mashable, it could fire off more than a pound of shot in one go. It was so powerful, most hunters had to affix it to the boat they were on. Simply carrying it around required two or three people. Each shot produced enough recoil to send the boat back several inches or more, and there are reports of over 90 birds dying from a single trigger pull. It was basically a bomb for people who didn't feel like carrying around bombs. Number 6. The Key Gun The Key Gun didn't get its name for any poetic reason. Rather, its makers called it that because it was a key that was also a gun. Considering the situation they were designed for, there was no time for subtlety. One of humanity's weirder ideas, the key gun was a key given to jailers in the mid-1800s. The idea was if a prisoner tried to escape, the gun part of the key gun would make short work of the plan. The jailer would light a cigar or some other ignitable object, press the smoldering part to a hole in the key's neck, and that would cause the gun to fire. And now you know where Bugs Bunny got the idea to turn his carrot into a weapon. Number 5. Le Petit Protecteur Le Petit Protector might not be the strongest gun in the world, but it's almost certainly the cutest. The little protector gun invented in 1820s France is just that, a tiny pistol, not much bigger than a fingernail that you wore like a ring. Your thumb would typically pull the trigger and fire the gun, but good luck killing anybody. The firepower of such a teeny gun was so weak that the typical shot could only penetrate one side of a tin can, according to Guns.com, but it would definitely get someone's attention. Number 4. The Harmonica Pistol 
While you won't get to play any music on the harmonica pistol, its makers and users still called it that for a very good reason. The weapon looked like it had been crossbred with an actual harmonica. The early 1800s found gun owners tiring of constantly reloading their weapons after every shot. But rather than just inventing a multi-chamber pistol on day one, they traveled a few goofy side roads before stumbling on what worked. The harmonica pistol was one such silly experiment, featuring a long metal slide with multiple bullet chambers. You inserted the slide into the gun and after each shot, slid it further in so you could fire again. It looked very much like your gun was playing the harmonica and suddenly reloading stopped the literal bang bang boogie far less often. Number 3. The Duck's Foot Pistol Another 18th century attempt to fire multiple shots at once, the Duck's Foot Pistol, or volley gun if you're boring, just threw three or four barrels on a single gun. And yes, the way the barrels are positioned does make the gun look like a webbed duck's foot. Maybe it was a victim of the punt gun. Reloading a duck gun took a while, sometimes over two minutes. On the other hand, it could fire multiple shots at once in multiple directions and each shot was stupidly powerful. Each bullet was typically a 45 caliber or larger, making it highly likely your target was doomed. That said, these guns apparently suffered from massive recoil, so if wielders weren't careful, they might shoot the gun, stumble backward, fall over, and quack their heads on the ground. Number 2. The Puckle Gun The Puckle Gun was basically an early 1700s machine gun, but when you consider how it worked, plus the rationale behind its rather unusual bullets, this gun was delightfully strange and unusual. According to Historic UK, a musket could fire off three shots a minute if its handler was fast enough with the powder. The Puckle Gun, meanwhile, could fire up to nine shots a minute, making war victories three times as easy. The gun sat on a tripod, the chambers were arranged in a circle, and a hand crank rotated them to align with the barrel. You loaded the chamber with powder, lit it, and it would fire. You could then hand crank the next chamber into place and repeat the process. This made it effective but ultimately cumbersome for anyone without endless arm stamina. Number 1. The Ribaldequin Introduced in 1339 by England's King Edward III, the Ribaldequin was an early attempt at rapid-fire weaponry. As described by the Vintage News, it was a mini-tank with up to a dozen cannons sticking out of it. The user would load up each cannon up with lead balls, light them up, and let them rip all in a row, like if the Radio City Rockettes all had Planet Terror legs. Over time, England realized the Ribaldequin would be so much sweeter if each one had even more cannons. So during the Italian Wars and the War of the Roses, these guns sported up to two dozen cannons each. There was just one issue, loading the things. Each cannon had to be muzzle-loaded separately after each shot, which is tedious at first and then deadly the longer you stand there. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.